Today we're going to turn a mushroom box. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, all I did was take a, a piece of redwood and drill down a 7 8 inch hole down the center of it. And um, I just marked the bottom right there. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the pin chuck and mount it on that and then turn the base on the pin chuck. So we're just, I just marked the bottom there so we can, so we know, don't go in too far. Just gonna bring this up for a tailstock up for a little bit of support. Then we'll just go ahead and shape it. Just gonna have the foot kind of bulge out a little bit, you know, from the further than the top. Just gonna round it up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna cut it out. Then your the lid's gonna seat right down down in here, so make that a little bit parallel before it starts to taper back up so that it seats on the lid nice and flush. Just gonna bring this in just a little bit. Just cup it out a little bit so it sits nice and flat. I'm just going to go ahead and sand it up. Just finishing up with uh, 600 here. Wipe that, that off and then get a clean rag. Sorry, clean paper towel. Turn the speed back up. That's a piece of redwood. I love the love the way redwood looks. It's just it's dusty and it's a actually a really soft wood um, to turn and it's it's really dusty. But um, it just it's beautiful once it's finished. Well, all right, let's go ahead and make the top. All right, I have a piece of maple and I just glued it onto a waste block. I'm gonna true it up and see if we can't get it to work and leave leave some of the natural part, part of the burl here. So let's go ahead and just true it up.
got just a little flat spot left there and then we're going to get to keep all of this so that that'll be nice just going to use the calipers here to just get close and actually get it there and maybe bring it in just a, just a little bit so that I can figure out kind of where it is. I'm just going to use a flat nose scraper. There we go got it in it's a little bit tight but I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it up and make sure that it's uh, it fits nice fits well before I maybe bring it down just a little bit more but I think that's that's pretty good Just finishing up with uh, 600. And then we'll just push, polish the inside up a little bit and then uh, turn the tenon down on the waste block. That's gonna look nice. All right, we'll just uh, part it off and then... Uh, gonna clean it up a little bit having a hard time staying on the on the tenon it's uh, it isn't exactly parallel so just brought this up to keep it up keep it on there just a little bit I'm just gonna clean it up okay, I'm just gonna sand it up turn your lathe speed back down just go ahead and go over it again. I'm just finishing up with uh, 600. And just go ahead and turn the lathe speed back up, polish it up. All right, had to put a little uh, electrical tape around there to hold it on. Turned it down a little bit too small, but there we go. And just nice little, you know, indentation there. Was hoping to get a little bit more, but that's just a great looking little piece of wood. Just a nice touch. There we go. All right, I think it turned out great. It's out of redwood and maple, and uh, it's got just a neat little natural area that, that was left there. Um, I just used the pin chuck again. That worked out great too. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.